ಸದಾಶಿವಸಂಭಾಂ ಶಂಕರಾಚಾರ್ಯ ಮಧ್ಯಮ ಅಸ್ಮದಾಚಾರ್ಯಪರ್ಯಂತ ವಂದೇ ಗುರುಪರಂಪರಾಹನಾವತು ಸಹನೌ ಭುನಕ್ತು ಸಹ ವೀರ್ಯಂಕರವಾವಹೈ ತೇಜಸ್ವಿ ನಾವಧೀತಮಸ್ತು ಮಾ ವಿಷಾವಹೈ ಶಾಂತಿ 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 ಓಂ ನಮೋ ಭಗವತೆ ವೈವಸ್ವತಾಯ ಮೃತ್ಯವೇ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ವಿದ್ಯಾಚಾರ್ಯ ನಚಿಕೇತಸೆ ಚ ಸೊ ವಿ ಗೋಂಟು ರೀಡ್ ದ ಸಂಬಂಧ ಭಾಷ್ಯಂ ಆಫ್ ನಂಬರ್ ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ ಮೃತ್ಯು ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ ಗುರುಜಿ ಸಂಬಂಧ ಆಫ್ ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ ಮೃತ್ಯು ಮೃತ್ಯು ಪ್ರಲೋಭ್ಯಮಾನ ಅಪಿ ಪ್ರಲೋಭ್ಯಮಾನೋಪಿ ನಚಿಕೇತ ನಚಿಕೇತ ಮಹಾಹೃದವತ್ ಮಹಾಹೃದವತ್ ಕ್ಷೋಭ್ಯ ಆಹ ಕ್ಷೋಭ್ಯ ಆಹ ಶೋಭಾವ ಶೋಭಾವಾಹಂತಕೈತೈತೈತೈತೈತೈತೈತೈತೈತೈತೈತೈತೈತೈತೈತೈತೈತೈತೈತೈತೈತೈತೈತೈತೈತೈತೈತ
to bhumi okay this is what he said and uh, you know swarga boha to bhumi means what it's i have to imagine i was thinking yesterday how what kind of example i can give said so, see they have something called disney world uh, in the us some parts they have this especially they go to florida most people go to florida disney world means they have to go to florida and uh, so it's like saying that disney walt disney is coming to india and they are constructing a disney world somewhere see you be in india i'll bring disney world to you okay don't worry where do you want disney world okay you be the emperor of india and then i'll wherever you want disney world i can put it up okay like that so uh it's so now 26 okay nachiketa is responding to all these things and what is shankaracharya saying evam mrityuna evam pralobhyamanah api nachiketah mahahradavat akshobhyah ah nachiketah ah nachiketa says sometimes translated as nachiketa said okay says is also says is the is actual the ah is actually present tense nachiketa says the following mantra is nachiketa okay said by nachiketa evam pralobhyamanah api despite having been tempted in this manner pralobhyamanah lub lub is uh, gardhye i think in the sense of temptation and uh, even uh, eva in this manner tempted by whom mrityuna that word mrityuna does not exist in gita press it is there in your notes so we'll go with your notes mrityuna okay because gopalayati and uh, anandagiri also take it that way so mrityuna seems to be correct <clears throat> so obviously mrityuna tempted by mrityu obviously and uh, despite having done that evam evam means in this manner in the manner mentioned in the last two three shlokas or more and uh, nachiketa ha ah and how did he say and what kind of nachiketa mahakhradavat akshobhya he was akshobhya shub shub is sanchalane means uh, shubh means shaking angry agitated etc okay and you hear something like this immediately the mind starts saying yeah this is great stuff means sanchalana the mind has been shaken by this kind of a offering right and so but akshobhya unmoved unagitated unattracted by these kinds of offerings and uh, mahakhradavat shankaracharya <laughs> like an ocean like a massive ocean means pacific ocean you take any ocean atlantic ocean huge and nobody says atlantic ocean is they have a problem in atlantic ocean it's weeping it's crying no no nothing happens so oceans remain oceans and uh, so when somebody says like this some of you the gita students will go to one shloka or shloka ओके drought all, all parts of the world also it's just fine like that but they are describing a jnani here not describing jnani mahakradavat just unmoved by all these temptations okay and what does he say now nachiketa let's see okay shobhavah martyasya yat antaka etat antaka antaka he antaka antaka is a address to yama Okay, some of us, some of you who are doing Sandhya Vandana will know we do Yama Vandana every day, and Yama Vandana means prostrations to Yama, worship of Yama, and that is facing south. We do that. So there, Yama, Yadharma, Raja, Yamritteve, Chantakaya, Cha, 
Mrtve cha antakaya cha. All these are synonyms of yama. Antaka and describing yama in so many words. Antaka antam karoti ti antaka. One who brings an end to things is called antaka. Okay. And so he antaka and addresses him that way. He antaka. You know, the things you offered, you offered me a lot of things. You know what they are? They are all shobhavaha. He describes all of them and puts them in, describes them by one word called shobhavaha. Shua, shua. And Shankara is going to explain that. And it means what? Shwaha in Sanskrit means tomorrow. Bhavati, bhavaha means to be, to exist. It seems all the things you offered will create an anxiety in people. What is anxiety? Shwaha bhavati va nava. Will I have this tomorrow or not? That's what you offered me. You offered me a lot of stuff. I am thankful to that. But the, the, essentially, I will be worrying all my life about tomorrow, this kind of wealth will I have? It will attract uh, all enemies and all. A lot of things are going to happen. And so, th that, is the, that is the doubt we will have. So I'll be anxious. Anybody who gets all these things will be anxious. That's why we have all kinds of insurances. Insurance companies make money because we are all anxious people. We have a lot of fear. That is what fear is what fuels the insurance companies. Okay. Shobhavaha. I need a lot of insurance. Can you provide for that insurance also? Okay. You didn't talk about insurance. Okay. Shobhavaha. Martyasya. Now what happens? Next, this Sarvendriyanam Jarayanti Tejaha. All these great bhogas, enjoyments you offered, what it does is, this Indriya's sense organs, Jarayanti, these things will, will damage the sense organs because too much enjoyment damages the sense organs. Even simply looking at Upanishad on the computer all day long, it damages sense organs. What to talk of enjoyments? It's obviously going to damage sense organs. Okay. So Jarayanti damages the sense organs. Okay. Martyasya. So of this humans, Sarvendriyana. The all senses of the human beings. Okay. Next. This is just a gist. We are going to see the details later. Okay. Api Sarvam Jeevitam Alpameva. You offered long life? Did you? Okay. How long is long life? Eventually, I am going to die, right? What can you do? You didn't say, I will never die. You said, you will take a long life. So, even you were helpless in the sense, you could only give me long life. So, it's all alpam. Someday, I will, okay, I live a long life. Then what? Alpam. It's all very, very little that you have given me. And uh, then, tavaiva vahaha tavanritya gite. Shobaha, shobhavaha, million dollar word. Next, Tavaiva Vahaha Tavanritya Gite. You know, your chariots, Vahaha means, uh, you know, this chariots and other things you offered. Transportation, you know, means of transportation. All this Vahaha and this Nritya Gite, dances, damsels, all these things you offered. Okay. Tavaiva Bhavatu. Let them be yours alone. Okay. Keep it with you. No thanks. Tavaiva. Very important. This is oft quoted also. Tavaiva vaha. Eva. That eva kara is very critical there. Let them be yours only. Thank you. Okay. This is the gist of this mantra. And uh, Yama is checking him out, right? Because Shankaracharya gave a Sambandha Bhashim earlier. So, with an interest, with a desire to check if Nachiketa has Vairagyam or not, he is offering all this, he had said before. And, uh, and see, suppose it's a five-year-old boy, Maniprabha, Amaradasa says, Pancha Vayaskaha, okay, this boy is five years old. <clears throat> five-year-old boy, you give a 2,000 rupee note, in India we have 2,000 rupee note. Which created a lot of problems because 2000 rupees already 100 rupees people don't have change they ask for change and you give them 2000 rupees what will you do so now it's kind of out of circulation and you give a child 2000 rupees child doesn't know it may know that okay i have to i need money to buy stuff because five years that much the child knows but with 2000 what i can get 
with 1000 what I can get with 500 what I can get with 100 what I get this kind of idea the child may not have so therefore with this kind of emperorship and all that what can I do child may not know so this Najiketa may be in that category but the way he is responding not in that category correct not in that category Shobhavaha. no chance a five year old child can say this without being gifted in this manner okay okay let's read the next one Bhashya. <clears throat> Yeah, we can't see your face. <clears throat> Can you unmute yourself? Yeah. Shobhavaha. Not audible. We, we are not audible. You're not audible. Okay. So let's uh, try the next uh, person. We'll pick you up, uh, Hemaji, once your audio is all fixed up. Okay. Yeah, Mahesh, go ahead. Shobha Vaha. Shobha Vaha. Shwaha Bhavishanti na Bhavishanti Va. Shwaha Bhavishanti na Bhavishanti Va. Iti. Iti. Sandhya Manaha Eva. Sandhya mana, Manaha Eva. Yesham Bhavaha Yesham Bhavaha Bhavanam Bhavanam Twaya Upanyasthanam Bhoganam Twaya Upanyasthanam Bhoganam Bhoganam Te Shwo Bhavaha Te Shwo Bhavaha Kincha Kincha Martyasya Martyasya Manushyasya Manushyasya Antaka he mrityo Antaka he mrityo Yat etat Yat etat Tarvendriyanam tejaha Tarvendriyanam tejaha Tadjarayanti Tadjarayanti Yeah, we're going to put a full stop there. <coughs> So, there is a reading style that we are following. Two ways to read this. This Sanskrit, any Sanskrit text, okay? So, for example, Shobhava Shobhavishyanti na bhavishyanti Veti sandhikyamana eva yesham bhavo bhavanam Tvayopastanam bhoganam te Shobhava Okay? The way I read it now is a little different than the way we just read. Correct? Okay. The way I read now is exactly following what is there in the book. The way we are we have been reading so far is we are doing the Sandhi Cheda. Many Sanskrit students know this and others also we have figured it out, figuring it out. Right? So, Shobhavo, Sho, Sho, Shoha. So, Sandhi is splitting we are doing. And uh, that Sandhi splitting way is called Bhashya Parayanam. Sometimes we do what is called Bhashya Parayanam. Like people do Vishnu Sahasana Parayanam or Bhagavad Gita Parayanam. We do what is called Bhashya Parayanam. Means we will take a text and then do a Parayanam. Okay, we go take turns and then we, we just read the text. So just now we read one or two lines. Like that we read, take line by line we go. In an order we go. And when you do that, we will split the Sandhi and do. And if somebody misses something, we will tell them, okay, this is that, like that, we will say. So, that is what we are doing here, by the way. <clears throat> okay, this word, first word, Shobhavaha, does not exist in Gita Press. So, in Gita Press, you can write that down if it's, if it's not there. So, here Shankaracharya is giving a long definition for Shobhava. Okay. What is he doing? Essentially, you know what it means now. Shwaha bhavishyanti nava na bhavishyanti vaiti. Shwaha bhavishyanti. Will it be there tomorrow or not there tomorrow? Iti. Iti sandhya manaha. That kind of doubt. That kind of doubt 
एव येशाम भावः भवनम येशाम भावः भवनम द थिंग्स हैव ऑफर्ड येशाम भवनम देयर एग्जिस्टेंस इज ऑफ दैट नेचर व्हाट नेचर क्रिएटिंग अ डाउट इन पीपल whether the, the, whether it will exist or not tomorrow will it exist or not that is the doubt it creates and what kind of things swaya upanyasthanam bhoganam the things you only have said you've given a big a big list of things you have offered already and all those things swaya upanyasthanam things you have praised and said take all these things this will make your life very comfortable take the help of all these women that are going to come you know don't be shy all that you said swaya upanyasthanam bhoganam enjoyments te shobhavaha those things are called shobhavaha that that definition he is giving here okay and and not only are those things creating this kind of anxiety but also it's like you buy a new car after a month anxiety why oh somebody scratched there is a scratch or all the happiness of this new car gone one second gone and then now you are worried about scratch what do you do and you push it it doesn't change oh my god where do i park who did this all these thoughts have gone finished all this joy is gone and your your track mind is going off in a different track and that is the thing this is exactly what shank it is nachiketa is saying and uh, then kincha in addition not only that i'll tell you one more thing about the things you offered he antaka bring the antaka forward okay he antaka he brityo shankaracharya is giving us the meaning there antaka means brityo okay, address sambodhana हे अंत हे मृत्यु ब्रिंग इट फॉर्वर्ड देन यू ऐड दिस वर्ड द सब्जेक्ट इज मिसिंग इन दिस सेंटेंस यू ऐड द वर्ड ते 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 मींस दे दे मींस शोभावा ओके दोस थिंग्स शोभावा व्हाट डज इट डू मर्त्यस्य मनुष्यस्य यत् एतत् सर्वेंद्रियाणां तेजः तत् जरयन्ति apakshapayanti okay i don't know what we read but uh, it should be now where is that here yet is yes, abhin tejaha jarayanti we start with jarayanti is it not okay jarayanti apakshapayanti also we should add okay we start with jarayanti apakshapayanti okay we can stop with apakshapayanti next word okay all right so these te shobhavah what do they do jarayanti they do something to us what do they do jarayanti and the meaning of jarayanti is apakshapayanti jarayanti itself is enough because jara jrida aging okay what they do is they ages the age as well first problem i already told you what is the first problem they create anxiety every day if they didn't create anxiety they are going to do something else what they will age me they will age me and apakshapayanti so kshidhatu and they will cause aging in me they don't age they may age also but problem is they their age i am also going to age so that is what it saying and uh, what will they age sarvendriyanam tejaha jarayanti you know this sense organs including the mind mind also is an organ meant for us okay it's meant for us to use for some purpose and uh, tejaha these sense organs they 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 have some tejas they have some capacity they are they should have vitality if the sense organs don't have vitality then what is the use of all this and so you constantly worried oh i can't react this that i can't see and then hearing always a problem you know putting ears like this what did you say what did you say in india say what happens it's many people don't wear hearing aid because i i spoke to somebody and he said i'm not because what will people think of me 
what will people think of you? They think your your hearing is very good. That's what they'll think of you. Not bad. At the age of 80, your hearing is good. That's what they'll think of you. <laughs> so this is, a, this is a, it's a serious problem. We have Indians. What will other people think of me? Once Fali said, the national problem. We have a national problem. The national problem, why India does not progress? Because what will others think of me? This is a problem. So, uh, so I think that even, I mean, not India, everywhere it's a problem. That's why this, this, these days hearing aid means you can't even see. And, and so, just put it and even you, even you can't figure out where your hearing aid is, okay? You put your finger and it says, what happened? That small, it is so small, micro, okay? Anytime it falls off. <laughs> Without the wire. <laughs> So that's small. So you see all these advertisements. You open a website, you want to go to Ashavidya Gurukulam and suddenly an address, one thing comes up and then hearing aid. And so that's because I purchased hearing aid for my parents. So this fellows, this Chrome and every company knows that I purchased a hearing aid. These fellows have just figured it out. They know every action you take, every mouse click, they have just, they mapped it all out. Anyway, so Jarayati Tejaha. Sarvendriyanam Tejaha, Tejaha is Dvitiya Vibhakti, okay. So, the vitality of the sense organs are damaged, diminished, okay, by what? By the Teshvo Bhava, ha, yatu, yetatu, etc., tatu, that, that's okay, okay. Now, let's read the next sentence, okay. <clears throat> Yeah. Apsara Prabhuta Yaha. Apsara Prabhuta Yaha. Yeah, before we do that, that Apakshapayanti. In Gita Press, it will say Apakshayanti. Apakshayanti. Apakshayanti means decays. Apakshapayanti means causes to decay. Jarayanti is a causal is there. Because Shobhava, they, won't, they may decay, but here the Point is, they damage my my instruments, my sense organs, and so causal is there, and so you can change that in the Gita press. Okay, all right. Apsara prabhuta yaha. Apsara prabhuta yaha. Bhoga ha. Bhoga ha. Anarthaya eva ete. Anardaha. E eva ete. Anarthaya eva ete. Anardhaya eva ete. Dharma virya pragna tejaha. Dharma virya pragna tejaha. Yashaha. Yashaha. Prabhuti nam. Prabhuti nam. Kshapayatrutvat. Kshapayatrutvat. Yamcha api. Yamcha api. Dirga jivikam. Dirga jeevi kaam tvam. Ditsasi. Ditsasi. Tatrapi shrunu. Tatrapi shrunu. Yeah. And then further he is saying, Apakshapayanti, you put, put, put a full stop there. Then Apsaraha prabhrutayaha bhogaha anarthaya eva ete. He is telling another point. A, hey, this Prabhrutayaha means etc. Apsaras etc. Things you offered, the same Shobhavaha, these Apsaras etc. that you offered, you know what? They are, of course, Bhogaha enjoyments. They are meant for our enjoyment. And then Anarthaya Eva. Yete Anarthaya Eva. These things are detrimental to a human being. Previously, sense organs, okay, they, they became damaged. That's one thing. They are detrimental, he says, anarthaya. Means what? For a human being to pursue, have a good quality of life, to attain the goals of one's life, they are detrimental. They are going to be obstructions, pratibandakas. They won't allow me to pursue moksha. See, Upanishad is not interested about this this body, quality of the body and physical well-being and all, they are not that interested. Because that everybody is good at, karma kanda, everything, you are doing all rituals, this, that and so, you, you, you know how to take care of your body. It's only interested in moksha purushata. 
And so anartha here means what? Taking me away from moksha purushartha. That is called anartha. Okay. Anartha in physical sense can be other things also. Somebody robbed, robbed my house. Took away all the stuff. Anartha I poach. Means what? Anartha has happened. Okay. That is also the meaning of anartha. But here it means what? Takes me away from moksha. Okay. That is another reason he is giving. Okay. And then Shankaracharya. Uh, I mean, these are all explanations by Shankaracharya, right? And so Shankaracharya is now telling why. Why this is so? Okay. He is saying Dharma Virya Pragna Tejaha Yashaha Prabhruti Nam Kshapa Yitrava Tritvat. Why it is anartha? Why should all this create a problem for me? Shankaracharya is saying, Kshapa Yitrutvat, because of the following things getting damaged, declined, hurt, harmed. Okay. What are the following things? Dharma. Dharma. Dharma means punyam. Pun punyam. My punyam will get depleted. Obviously, because if I am going to enjoy, enjoyment is a result of punyam, no doubt. And punyam is getting depleted. If if the punyam were used for some other purpose, at least that punyam will come in handy. I'm wasting a trump card. Hmm? Uh, if you all of you play, know how to play cards, you know, trump card, I think I, you should understand what it is. <clears throat> okay, dharma is lost. Then what? Viryam. Viryam. Okay. So, Gopal Yathindra says, Samarthyam. Strength. Whatever, whatever <clears throat> basic capacity is needed to to decide right wrong etc that kind of strength is is also diminished then pragna pragna gopal Aitindra says sukshma buddhi see now you understand why we have to sometimes study tika tika to understand what chakracharya is saying sometimes these words they may have similar meanings also if they have similar meanings then you have to interpret it carefully because Shankaracharya, <clears throat> Shastram cannot use any word irresponsibly just for the sake of using it. No, that is Shastram cannot do that. Shankaracharya, no, he is also Shankaram Shankaracharyam Keshavam Badarayan. And so he also will not use a word without a purpose. And therefore, we then we have to go to Tika and say, what does Shankara mean by that? And so, anyway, prajna sukshma buddhi means that buddhi is needed, the viveka buddhi to distinguish not just right from wrong, but also from anatma from atma and shreyas from prayas. So many things are there. So that prajna lost, enjoying because constantly enjoying. So prajna is gone. Not no chance to use the intellect properly. Okay, prajna is gone. Tejaha. What is tejaha? Medha Shaktihi. Okay. And Gopa, that is, Puja Swamiji says Medha Shakti. Tejaha means the ability to see things from different ways and analyze stuff. That is called Medha Shakti. And uh, another meaning given is Pragalbhyam. Pragalbhyam means the courage, the boldness, and uh, the fearlessness. All that that is needed. In a pursuit like this, okay, all that is going to be affected, okay. And he also uses the word twagata, twagata. It seems <laughs> twak twaku means skin. There is some kind of a tejas on the face of a person who who is dharmic, who is may not be rich and all that, but very dharmic. And you will see that person is calm. The person is has that tejas and for that person itself one who studying is dharmic plus studying shastram and they say there is some kind of a twag, twaggata like that Gopala Yatindra says okay so that is tejas and yashaha glory fame what is the fame he is talking about 
ఏ ఆహార నిద్ర భయం ఐతు నుంచి బీయింగ్ బోర్న్ అస్ అ హ్యూమన్ బీయింగ్ ఇట్ సెల్ఫ్ ఈస్ అ కాజ్ ఫర్ ఫేమ్ యూ హ్యావ్ టు సెలబ్రేట్ దాట్ రైట్ బికాస్ అనిమల్స్ డోంట్ హ్యావ్ దే డోంట్ హ్యావ్ ఎనీ ఫ్రీ విల్ యూ హ్యావ్ ఫ్రీ విల్ సో దట్ మీన్స్ స్పెషల్ గిఫ్ట్ యూ హ్యావ్ అండ్ యూ మస్ట్ యూస్ అ ఫ్రీ విల్ అండ్ ఫ్రీ విల్ ఇస్ నాట్ దేర్ కాన్స్టెంట్లీ ఎంజాయింగ్ మీన్స్ ఫ్రీ విల్ ఇస్ నాట్ దేర్ is is suspended it's not being used for moksha purushartha therefore yashah the glory of a human being is also gone that's why they say he leads an animal life right animalistic life they use the word yeah anirudh go ahead uh so pradnya and medha how, what are the what are the characteristic differences then no pradnya means medha that is what that is what is being said so uh, so did i say medha is uh, for tejas right yeah tejas is medha so pragna is uh, is viveka shakti pragna the ability to distinguish knowledge nya is knowledge everybody has common knowledge basic knowledge to lead a life but pragna is needed to distinguish dharma artha kama from moksha pragna is needed then tejas is medha shakti okay Medha means, uh, Medha is very, it's, uh, you know, Medha Suptam we chant. Medha Devi Jushamana Na Aga Aat. So there the prayer is for, is for the ability for the mind to function properly and it's in full capacity. Somebody tells us something and suddenly you get carried away. Then no, ability to think through. Okay, what are the pros and cons of these things? Pros and cons. so so that we don't get trapped just in the laukika world but in, when you come to study shastram medha shakti is very helpful because you have to connect all the dots and everything and everything there must be one message from the entire shastram even though there are so many upanishads and so many texts of bhagavad gita so many chapters are there medha shakti helps you put it all together put it all together so he says all that is what all that will get lost okay so kshapayitritva because all these attributes of the human being will decline will be affected will be hurt will be damaged therefore anarthaya eva ete okay excuse me guru ji is medha shakti pragalbhyam uh no medha shakti is not pragalbhyam pragalbhyam can you explain pragalbhyam and the meaning given by gopal etindra tika he st- it means boldness courage confidence okay so two different yeah, things pratnya they are translated as the consciousness also yeah that's okay that's okay but here that that's not the meaning <clears throat> okay yeah so next one more reason okay yancha api i think we read this no ditsasi chatrapi shruno we read this okay so let me finish explaining this yancha api dirga jeevich jeevikam tvam ditsasi tatrapi shruno look at nachiketa tatrapi shruno listen to this okay he is telling shruno shruno means what suno suno tvam he is start bhavan at least in our sanskrit we say bhavan and all ningal you know aap and all we say he is given up aap he says tvam shru shankaracharya is using the word tvam okay <laughs> tvam shru no listen to this hey yama i am not done yet okay listen to this yancha api dirga jeevikam tvam ditsasi ditsasi is the verb there datum ichasi dadhatu san pratyaya okay ditsasi desiring to give tvam ditsasi you desire to give about something that you desire to give what did you desire to give dirga jeevikam you wanted to give me a long life right tvam ditsasi api also you wanted to give me also long life tatra api shrunu about that i have a few words to say okay i have something to say just listen okay okay <laughs> how interesting rekracharya makes this okay this is amazing okay let's read the next one now oh, 
who is uh, Sarvam Yate Sarvam Yate Brahmanaha Api Brahmanaha Api Jeevitam Ayuhu Jeevitam Ayuhu Alpa Meva Alpa Meva Kimuta Kimuta Asmadadi Asmadadi Dirga Jeevika Dirga Jeevika Ataha Ataha Tavaiva Tishtantu Tavaiva Tishtantu Vahaha Rathada Yaha Vahaha Rathada Yaha Tatha Nritya Gita Cha There is a Tava in between. Oh, one second. Uh, okay, go ahead and say Tava Nritya Gita Tatha Tava Nritya Gita Cha Yeah. Okay, in the Gita press, the tower is not there. <clears throat> okay. That's Rapi Shrunu. Listen to this something. I, I have a little thing to tell you. <laughs> Sarvam yatu brahmanaha api jivitam ayuhu alpameva. This long life you gave me. Okay. It's alpameva. Okay. Oh, why is it alpam? Yet Brahmana happy, Shankarajari adds. Yet Brahmana happy. Are you? Jivita means are you? Are you means lifespan. Okay. That lifespan that you have given me, the Dirka Jivikam, is still Alpha. Yet Brahmana happy. Even Brahmaji says he is a mortal. Brahmaji. Now our Sanskrit students are now experts at this. They have become experts of late. And Brahmaji means they can tell you how how old, what is the lifespan of Brahmaji. He's alive. Brahmaji is very much alive. And he's not going to die anytime soon. So don't, not to panic. And uh, our Satish ji yesterday, yesterday only he gave a calculation. 311 trillion years. I think that's what he put in the in chat box. Okay. 311 trillion years. Okay. And that many years, even yet Brahmanaha api ayuhu. Even that is finite. And Brahmaji also has to say goodbye one day. Okay. So, and you, and so, Alpa Meva. Kimuta Asmadadi Dirga Chitika. Brahmaji's life itself is finite. What to talk of? Kimuta. So, what to talk of? Asmadadi Dirga Jivika. Long life of mortals like us. We are supposed to live on earth. Okay. Not in Brahmaloka. I'm going to go back to Earth. So, people, people who live in Earth, Asmadadi means people like us, people like me. Okay, and what to talk of people like me? Brahmaji's life itself, I've said it is Alpam. And uh, what about me? Kimuta. This Kimuta is a is a word that is used. Kimuta. What to talk of? What to talk of? It's like saying, I'm trying to think of an example. The people who, who hey, people who are, the guy who did yoga and all, he passed away at 60 years old. Hey, what to talk of people like me who are sitting all day and then eating chips? What to talk of me? So, that is that what, Kimuta, is in, in, there's a Nyaya. In Sanskrit, the Nyaya is called Kaimutika Nyaya. Kaimutika Nyaya. You can write it down. Kaimutika Nyaya. Nah, they will say like that. Means Kaimutika Nyaya means what? This logic. This logic. You talk about something and then you compare that thing to somebody else and, and then conclude. And that is called Kaimutika Nyaya. And uh, so that Nyaya is being used by Shankaracharya here. And then he is concluding. Ataha. Ataha means therefore. Therefore means a conclusion is coming. Shankaracharya's word, therefore. Okay. Then, this we have seen. Tavaiva <clears> Tishtantu. Ataha Tavaiva Tishtantu. 
let them be yours only let them be yours what should be yours vaha and shankaracharya is helping us ratha daya he doesn't have to say this shankaracharya does not have to say this but ratha daya why ratha daya because he rathas were offered saratha saturya all that so ratha so he is he is he is he is saying in case you slept off in class when i was talking ratha daya okay chariots etc tatha and also nritya geete ch all these dances and this and that that you offered geete music ch that also let keep all of that with you i don't want any of that what is the meaning here okay what does the word vahaha mean again vahanani vahanani means uh, means uh, th- th- this one the what do you call the vehicles vehicles because vehicles in swarga are different than vehicles here okay here you might say i have a hammer i have a toyota what is that innova and all you can say but there there that's those vahas are very different okay so vahaha is equal to vahanam so vahdatu so ganj pratya i think okay that completes the bhashyam okay so what is the summary of all this lot of detail has been said summary is what a everything is nashuram nachiketa is displaying his vairagyam this is the teevra vairagyam that is needed and then swami just joke i thought if i had got this kind of offer i think i'd have packed my bags and gone long ago <laughs> we used to joke like that in class ah oh, swami i think that's right this is this fellow is a fool jimmy and i used to say in his book he said even if you hear so there were somewhere if you get a 5 rupees you would have run from this hna jala <laughs> yeah yeah so but no he is not a fool he is a viveki <clears throat> so let's trans let's look at the anvaya okay of this mantra number 26 okay okay shobhavaha there is a short sentence shobhavaha within brackets bhavanti and before shobhavaha you can put that yat that comes later in that first quarter yat te you add yat after that you put it within brackets te shobhavaha bhavanti means what yat yat means referring to something okay something means what twaya upanas upanyasthanam bhogah okay it's going to come in this thing so i added it that yat twaya upanyasthanam bhogah means those things that you, which you offered are shobhava full stop so the sentence here is basically yat shobhava bhavanti yat twaya upanyasthanam bhogah shobhava bhavanti okay first shobhava is one sentence by itself okay means what you offered so far are i'm going to uh, there are shobhava we know what the meaning of shobhava is okay full stop next okay he antaka look at that word antaka there okay yat antaka etat so antaka he antaka okay then you have to within brackets you have to say te and close the brackets they those those things those shobhava those things you offered martyasya sarvendriyanam etat tejah jarayanti full stop okay so this is reordering of the words the way to reorder them is what martyas martyasya sarvendriyanam etat tejah jarayanti full stop tejaha is the object jarayanti te tejaha jarayanti that is the main sentence right they emaciate the brilliance of what sarvendriyana of of who martyasya of the human being okay so te martyasya sarvendriyanam etat tejaha jarayanti full stop next 
api cha you can add cha there api cha sarvam and before jivitam you can add brahmanaha api sarvam brahmanaha api because shankaracharya said that just in case Brahmanaha api jivita alpameva. That is the idea. So api cha sarvam brahmanaha api jivitam alpam eva. Full stop. That is uh, uh, not reordering of words. Next sentence. Tava vahaha nritya gite cha. Tava vahaha nritya gite cha. Tava eva bhavantu you can add. Tava eva bhavantu. Oh, better. No, scratch off the bhavantu. I have a better word. Shankaracharya's word. Tishthantu. That is the thing to use. Bhavantu was my word, but I think we should say tishthantu. Tava eva tishthantu. Okay, I am going to read this again. <clears throat> Yat Twaya Upanyastanam Bhogaha Shobhavaha Bhavanti or Santi. Full stop. Next sentence. He Antaka Te Martyasya Sarvendriyanam Yetat Tejaha Jarayanti Tejaha Yetat Vidya Vibhakti. Object. Full stop. Sar api cha sarvam brahmanaha api jivitam alpam eva. Full stop. Tava vahaha nritya gite cha tava eva tishthantu. The last one, could you repeat, Guruji? Last one means what? Last sentence? Tava Vahaha Nritya Gite Cha Tava Eva Bhavantu. I'll send you this by email also so that just in case there are some trailing doubts, you can look at it. Okay. <clears throat> All right. Kincha. Kincha. Okay, Premaji, go ahead. Okay. Where are we now, Guruji? Okay, we are in uh, mantra number 27. So is it. Uh, okay. Okay. okay, I got it. Kincha. Na vitte na tarpani yo manusya ha. Na vitte na tarpani yo manusya ha. Lapsya mahe vitta madrakshma chetwa. Lapsya mahe vitta madrakshma chetwa. Jivishyamo yavadi shishya sitvam. Jeevishyamo yavadi shishya sitvam Parastume varani yasa eva Parastume varani yasa eva Na vitte na tarpani yo manusya ha Na vitte na tarpani yo manusya ha Lapsya mahe vitta madrakshma chetva Lapsya mahe chit vitta madrakshma chetva. Jeevishyamo yavadi shishya sitvam. Jeevishyamo yavadi shishya sitvam. Parastume varani yasa eva. Parastume varani yasa eva. Yeah. So. Nachiketa is not done yet. Kincha. Moreover, in addition, okay, and not bad. So Nachiketa is taking the time to 
to express himself clearly extremely well, well, well. so moreover na vittena tarpaniya manushya these are all statements that we should we should teach children every statement can be just elaborated okay look at this statement he says you know tarpaniya in the verb there tarpanam you know tarpanam you know we all do tarpanam to our ancestors pitrus and uh, means what trip means to please them to make them happy to make them more comfortable wherever they are and we worship them also and so that is called trip tarpanam here also look at that na vittena tarpaniya manushya human being manushya cannot be satisfied with wealth or by wealth this is nachiketa statement five year old boy is saying this okay that's his statement full stop that's it he stops there he doesn't talk any more about that and then lapsyamahe vittam adrakshma chetva a adrakshma chetva having seen you and then you are going to send me back home okay do you think you will not give me something when i go go home suppose you go to bangalore you wanted to meet your friends here bangalore friends of your class narayan and meera and all these other people majority people are from bangalore okay lakshmi nagesh and so like this there is a big list and you you ended up in bangalore and you wanted to go and then one of narayan and knows narayan murthy of infosys so you said come on guys this tomorrow evening we got an appointment with that. and we are going straight to his home Sudha Murthy is also there, okay? And so, my God, this is a how can you say no to this offer? And he went there, and uh, we go there and we talk about all the stuff you do and this and that and everything you said. And Narayan Murthy and Sudha are so happy. Oh, you are studying Upanishads also. Now you have put them in a in a kind of a quandary because they are the greatest people in India. But now they you come to a spot where they are a little uncomfortable. my god you are studying bhagavad gita and upanishads oh okay now suddenly your status has gone up so much and uh, we are following swami dayananda ji is teaching parmarthananda ji and all i mean my god this is this is you gone way ahead and so you are all leaving guess what they are not going to give you one apple each and all that you know in our tradition we have to give something somebody at least kumkum vibhuti something you have to give this is our tradition and uh, they they are going to give you something so you don't have to worry so especially somebody is not well and you we said you know this person has needs a job obviously they will get a job i'll consider ask him to come visit come to my office tomorrow ask him to come to hey what is this i've i've spent 3 years looking for a job sending resumes to hundreds of companies and this guy says come to my office tomorrow that's it over so it's obvious you just uh, i don't have to worry about this long life and all that because you saw me you're obviously you're not going to get me killed tomorrow you're not going to come and visit me tomorrow correct it'll be foolish of you to do that absolutely foolish because i'll ask you what happened i thought you offered try to offer me long life and you you want to take my life now or what that's how i'm going to respond so lapsya mahe vittam adrakshma chetva having seen you why should i worry about this vittam wealth otherwise what will people say in, in india they will say hey this guy went to yamaloka and came back and look how poor he is what a shame like that they will say so definitely you will only come to shame if you put me in such a shape and therefore i have no such worry okay jeevishya maha yavad ishya chitvam same thing here he is talking about life there with them now life also i don't have to worry about my longevity and all that and so varastu me varaniyasa eva therefore varahatu the boon that you asked me to change no let it remain the third boon that i asked you yeyam prete vichikitsa manushye let it be so it's going to remain like that that is how he is saying here look at how beautiful it is and next mantra also nachiketa watch is not stopped okay uh, and 29 is what Twenty nine. Uh, I think Upanishad is saying that, but uh, we'll come to that. So, with the next mantra, Nachiketa will end. Okay. So this is the gist of this mantra. So let's read the version. 
<clears throat> so, what is the difference between previous mantra and this mantra? Previously, he is talking about bhogaha, enjoyment, kamaha, etc. Here, arthaha, artha, security, lifespan, my life is important, security, not kama, right? And then, uh, vittam also security, not kama. Therefore, previously kama, now, now it is artha. Okay. Na Prabhu te na. Na Prabhu te na. Vitte na tarpani yaha manushya ha. Vitte na tarpani yaha manushya ha. Nahi loke. Nahi loke. Vitta labha ha. Vitta labha ha. Kasya chite. Kasya chite. Tripti karaha drishtaha. Tripti karaha drishtaha. Full stop will put there. Yadi nama. Yadi nama. Asmakam. Asmakam. Vitta trishna syat. Vitta trishna syat. Lapsya mahe, prapsya mahe. Lapsya mahe, prapsya mahe. Iti yetate. Iti yetate. Vittam adrakshma. Vittam adrakshma. Trishta vantaha. Trishta vantaha. Vayam chet twa twam. Vayam chet twa twam. Yeah. So the first quarter, Shakrachari is explaining. Na vitte na tarpaniyaha manushyaha. And Shankaracharya uh, adds only one word there. What is that word? Prabhu tena vittena. That's all. Prabhu means abundant wealth. Now, little bit more if I have, I think I'll be happy. This is just my salary. Just 10% raise if I get, I think I'll be happy in my salary. 10% raise, I'll be happy, means uh, how long 10% raise? After some time, uh, your your uh, co colleagues are all getting raises. Then what? And after that, I want another raise also. Therefore, Prabhuten, how much ever wealth a person has, not happy. And we can see it. He's going to say next, look at that. Nahi loke vittalabaha kaschit tripti kara drishtaha. Na drishtaha. Not seen. What is not seen? Vittalabaha kasyachit. Kasyachit of any human being, of anybody, gain of wealth, vittalabaha, loke, in this world, around us, around us, vittalabaha, tripti karaha drishtaha. We don't see money making people happy. Shankaracharya is adding the statement. Okay. Means temporarily make one happy. That's okay. But everybody seems to want more. That's the idea here. Yadi nama asmakam vitta trishna syat. So that you have to split there. Syal, syal lapsya mahe. There is a sandhi. So you have to split it. Syat lapsya mahe. Maybe in your book it's already split. But in Gita press it is not. Okay. Yadi nama. Look at this. Shankaracharya. Yadi nama. Yadi nama is a technical word. It means, let's assume, let's assume, just for the sake of argument, yadi nama. Okay. Yadi nama. Okay. Asmakam vitta trishna sriyat. With trishna means this desire, hunger for. For what? Vitta, wealth. Let's assume. That I have asmakam for us, he is using plural here, okay? For I for Yama, he is using singular tu, tum, okay? And for Dachiketa himself, he says asmakam. This fellow is great. I mean, I don't know what's going on between these two. Huh? So, asmakam, he says, he should have said mama, okay? But he says asmakam, ours, okay? Let's assume we have a desire for wealth, okay? That's what he's saying here. Then, Lapsya mahe prapsya mahe iti yetat. Then lapsya mahe. We are going to get. Even if I had a desire for wealth, 
I am going to get, I will get, Prapsyamahe, it is a, this thing, Lrit Lakara, future tense, okay. I will get, I will get, what will I get? Prapsyamahe, again plural, okay. This is, this is just, Prapsye is singular, Prapsyamahe is plural. And so he is using everything in plural here. <clears throat> we will get, what will we get? Obviously, Vittam, Vittam, we are going to get Vittam. How or why? Adrakshma drishtavantaha vayam chet tva tva. Why will I get wealth? Because we have seen you. Drishtavantaha. Vayam drishtavantaha. Vayam means we. Drishtavantaha means seen. This is a popular. All Sanskrit students know this. Drishtavantaha. Drishtavan, drishtavantau, drishtavantaha. Everybody says, Sanskrit students will say, yeah, finally I saw a word that I know. <laughs> So this is how I used to get excited. Ah, the shtantaha, I know that word. Okay. So that is the meaning of Adrakshma. Adrakshma is Lunglakara. And Chakracharya is saying is equal to Drishtavantaha. Okay. And uh, why am Drishtavantaha? We have seen you. Chet twa twa means we because we have seen you. Chet. Because we have seen you, I have no doubt that I will get whatever wealth i need okay that's what he's saying here what logic this boy is just amazing is it not what confidence he is saying what precision okay how can anybody think like this okay uh, we have a couple of minutes let's read the next one could you please explain lapsya mahe yeah lapsya mahe is equal to prapsya mahe we will get. That is the meaning of Lapsyamahe. Labaha, Labdat, Labaha. Same. Jeevitam api. Jeevitam api. Tathaiva. Tathaiva. Okay, you need to unmute yourself. Tathaiva. Jeevishyamaha. Jeevishyamaha. Yavat yamye pade. Yavat yamye pade. Twam. Twam. Ishishyasi. Ishishyasi. Ishishyase. Ishishyase. Prabhu syaha. Prabhu syaha. Katham hi. Katham hi. Martyaha. Martyaha. Twaya sametya. Twaya sametya. Alpa dhana yuhu bhavet. Alpa dhana yuhu bhavet. Varahatu. Varahatu. Me varaniyaha saha eva. Me varaniyaha saha eva. Yat atma vijnanam. Yat Atma Vijnanam. Yeah. So, Jeevita Mapi Tathaiva. Tathaiva. See, what did he say? Vittam Prapsyamahe. Lapsyamahe. Wealth, I am not worried at all. The fact that I visited you knows you, you have been concerned about me. So, there is no way you, you can create trouble for me. You will keep me happy. No problem. So, I don't, I am not going to waste my boon on Vittam. Okay, that's the way to read it. I'm not one bone is one bone. I'm not going to waste it on Vittam. Jeevitam api tathaiva. My ayu, my longevity also tathaiva. You will you, not take me away tomorrow. You Father is there, he's waiting for me. I'm only five years old. And so it's we have a I have a long life. I have no doubt about that. Okay, so I won't waste my bone on this, okay, on my ayu. Jeevishyamaha Yavad Yamye Pade Twam. <laughs> reason. See, that is giving a reason why. As long as Yamya Pade, you are going to be in this Yamaloka. As long as you are going to be in Yamaloka, because you have seen me, right? Because sometimes what happens in a company, you developed a good relationship with the manager, suddenly manager changes. Oh, again, you have to work hard and you have to prove yourself and he has, he doesn't even know you and this and that. The big process starts. 
is constant stress in in, uh, in companies. And so now, as long as he knows that, Achikada seems to know that as long as you are there in this role, playing this role, because I don't know what happens in your world, you may change roles, but as long as you are there, okay, Yavat, okay, Yavat means as long as Yamya Pade Twamishishasi, you will be overlord, you will be the overlord of this this world, as long as you are there. Ishishasi is a chandasa prayoga, huh? it is Atmane Padi, therefore Shankaracharya says Ishishyase, Ish Aishwarya, Dutiya Gana. Atmane Padi, therefore, Ishi Shyase. Okay. Prabhu Syaha. As long as you are the Lord, you are the Prabhu of this world, Yamiya Pade, then I will not be worried about my longevity and all those things. Okay. Katham hi martyaha twaya sametya alpadhana yuhu bhavet. Sakracharya is beginning to conclude or concluding this. Katham hi martyaha. How can a mortal be alpadhana yuhu, be, be somebody who is poor and short lived, twaya sametya, after having met you, twaya sametya, right? After having met you, how can anybody be like this, like worried about wealth and uh, or poverty and you know, this guy, uh, death, okay? No, no chance. You are the lord of death, you are the all knowing person. Okay. Then varahatu me varaniyaha saha eva. Varaniyaha. My boon is not going to change. Varaniyaha means to be asked. To be asked. The boon to be asked is saha eva. That alone. That only. What that only? One point. One point. Okay. That means where should I go? Twenty one, I think. Uh, yeah, 20, 1, 1, 20. Saha means 1, 1, 20. Saha eva. I already asked you that. I am not going to repeat that. Saha eva. And Shankaracharya helps us. What is that Saha? What kind of vara it is? Yat Atma Vijnanam. Which is the knowledge of Atma. Brahma Vidya. Okay. That is the varam. That is the bone I am going to ask i'm not going to change that so what is the summary of this i am not going to be carried away by your offerings of artha artha previously kama now artha okay so let's uh, do an anvaya of this quickly Manushya, I brought Manushya to the front. Manushya vittena na tarpani yaha, full stop. Manushya vittena na tarpani yaha. Here are some changes. Twa adrakshma chet. Twa adrakshma chet. So the last three words are come to, uh, I'm bringing forward. And then adding the word vayam. Vayam vittam lapsya mahe. Full stop. Tva adrakshma chet. The last three words coming to the front. Vayam vittam lapsya mahe. Having seen you, we will obtain wealth. We will gain wealth. Okay. Next sentence. Yavat tvam. Ishishyasi, Yavat Tham Ishishyasi, I am going to add two words, Tavat Vayam Jeevishyamaha, Tavat and Vayam you can put within brackets, because Yavat generally there should be a Tavat, so what is it, Yavat Tham Ishishyasi, Within brackets, I even added Ishishya say just to remind myself that the actual word is Ishis Atmanepadi. Tavat Vayam Jeevishya Maha. Tavat Vayam Jeevishya Maha. As long as you are reigning in this world, I will I will live. Tavat Jeevishya Maha. That long, that long I will live, he said. Very confident. 
नेक्स्ट सेंटेंस मे तो सह वर आत्मज्ञान अवेडेड एव वरणीय रिओर्डरी संवाट मे तो सह वर आत्मज्ञान और सह आत्मज्ञान वर दट आलो यू कैन से और आत्मज्ञान विषय वर एनीथिंग इज फाइन एव वरणीय मे तो सह आत्मज्ञान वर एव वरणीय मनुष्य वित्तन न तर्पणीय फुल स्टॉप स्वाद्राक्ष वित्स्यामहे फुल स्टॉप यशिष्यसीशिष्यसे तवत् वयम जीविष्याम फुल स्टॉप मे तो सह आत्म विज्ञान वर एव वरणीय फुल स्टॉप ओम पूर्णमदफ पूर्णमीद पूर्णा पूर्णमुद्य पूर्णस्य पूर्णमादाय पूर्णमेवशिष्य ओं शाति 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 हरि ओम श्री गुरुभ्यो नम हरि ओम